Hey everybody, this is Brian Helmick from BetweenTheLicks.com. I'm here to give you another free guitar lesson. And today we're really going to only talk about a little bit of music theory and understanding modes. And modes have always seemed to me really kind of complicated and obscure. But what I found out is that they're really not. Because as long as you know uh, the major scale pattern, you already know how to construct pretty much all seven of the main modes. And by main modes I mean Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And those numbers are even significant. Because the secret is all the modes, all seven of those modes, are constructed directly from the major scale, but you just change the note that you start on. And l let me show you a bit about that. Because we're only going to use the C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C which makes up the major scale. Those are the only seven notes we're going to use today. All right, let me start off with the Ionian or the major scale. They're just two different names for the same thing. It starts on a C. Just the major scale. Now if you want to move up to Dorian, you start on the D. D E F G A B C back to D. That's it. All right. Now you want to go to Phrygian you start on E, so it goes E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. That's it. That is how you construct the chords, and it goes up from there. And by up from there, I mean uh, the F Lydian, the G Mix Lydian, A Aeolian, and B Locrian are all the same notes. They just change according to uh, what note you're going to start on, which would be named in the title. B Locrian, you'd start on that B, and you just go right up. It goes... That's it. That's that's the that's the scale because you just start on the B and you just move your way up. So, and the reason why this is so great is because you already know the major scale pattern. You already know how to go. You know that already, hopefully. And if you don't, you should learn that because if you want to play any of those modes, all you have to know is the interval from uh, the basically the Ionian, Ionian. Say, you, like I said, you want to use the E Phrygian. Let's say you want to use the E Phrygian. You know it's the third of the major scale, so you find that E, and you find that what would make it the third, which is the C, C, three, and that's the five, to make up the scale. There's the E Phrygian, it's the third, so you use the C pattern for the major scale, but you just start on the E. That's it. And it's a simple concept but it does get confusing when you start trying to apply them but at least now you understand how you make them together you just use one pattern use it everywhere you slide it up and down anywhere and you can put together each of those seven modes from that one pattern so thank you for joining me check out the website if you want some clarification for this it has all the uh, all the information on it uh, each of the steps, each of the notes in there, and it even has the intervals that were to make up each of the modes if we were to think of them as their own separate entity. And uh, that's what helps you fit them into chords, which I'll go over next. So uh, check back for the next lesson. And this is Brian Helmick from Between the Licks. You have a great day.